Everybody sold me the phone. If you don't mind. You don't want people to, you know, uh, well, so what spirit do you want? Do you want, like, so what do you say that arrows and license plates make you think that you're following the, the spirit of the devil, of Satan? Yeah. And you want to follow the spirit of what? Christ. Of Christ? Yes. Amen, brother. Amen, man. I'll tell you what, bro. You got to be like a Paul. You got to be like Paul, bro. We got to be like Paul out here on these streets, brother. And I tell you what, man. Paul did what a lot of Christians don't do, bro. And Paul, Paul was the perfect evangel uh, uh, ev evangel he evangelized perfectly, man. Because I tell you what. When he went to... When people were coming in from, you know, from Asia Minor and from from Philippi and this and that to come to Rome and, and, and different parts, you know, of the old ancient ancient world and shit, bro. Freaking, they came on boats. Now, what did Paul do, bro? Paul was right there waiting at the fucking harbor, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cuss, but he was at the, he was at the harbor, and 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 he was at the harbor. And I tell you what, bro, he. When they came on and got food, yeah, there you go, brother. This is good stuff right here, bro. This is good. This is what God wants to see, bro. This is what makes you more of a disciple of Christ, brother. And I'm telling you this for a reason. You met me for a reason. I met you for a reason. You know what I mean? And I'm out here not trying to meet anybody, bro. But we bumped into each other and stuff, you know? So, let me do this. Okay. So, when people came on, on shore, they came and got their foods, and they did their shopping and stuff, and went right back on the boats. You know what they did? <laughs> They went back on with the message of the gospel, bro. God, Paul told them, and they went back to Asia Minor. They went to Philippi. They went to a freaking Old World Turkey. They went to, you know what I mean? They went to all these back to these bases with the gospel, man. You know what? Right in this corner, bro, you got people coming from Asia Minor from over there. You got people coming from Philippi over there. You got people coming from Spain over there, bro, coming to the, to the new world right here, bro, that needs us. And we send these people back into their places back into the spots with the gospel, the true gospel, though, the true interpretation of Christ, man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's the, I, I, it's got, you were supposed to make, meet me, man, and I was supposed to meet you. I'm nobody special. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying, I just like, I just love God, bro. That's it. I'm not saying that I'm anybody special at all, because I'm freaking not, bro. I'm a sinner. I'm a bad sinner, bro. But you know what? So was Paul. <laughs> so was Timothy. So were all the apostles. So was Peter. So, the man, Peter was the first leader, the first pope of the church, bro. And, and, and the prophecy is true. Regardless, man. I mean, you know, right there in Matthew 16, 18, when, you know, Christ hands off, you know, the earthly leadership to Peter. That's real. Yeah. You know, so anyways, man. Um, God is good. You got every piece of person you meet out here on the streets, bro. You got you to share a little piece. You got to share a little piece. Because I tell you what. When you keep striving after God, bro, he's gonna put certain people in your path. He's gonna, pe pe he's gonna put people that you're supposed to meet, that are supposed to meet you. He's gonna put them in your path and you're supposed to evangelize them, man. You're supposed to. And with the Holy Spirit inside, are you baptized? If you're not baptized? All right, man, well, guess what? We're gonna get you baptized, bro. You need to get baptized. Are you okay with that? You're addicted to meth? Well, you know what, bro? I'll tell you what. With you being baptized, there's a lot of people that are addicted to meth, bro, that have been baptized and stuff like that. But you know what? I just, I just seen the, your eyes roll back in your head. <laughs> you know what? That's okay, man. I, I tell you what, bro. You're going to get baptized, man. It might, not, it might not be tomorrow. It might not be next week, next month, this year. But you know what? You're going to get baptized. But you need to jump on that. I'll help you. I'll, put, I'll point you in the right direction, bro. Okay? I'll point you in the right direction. I know the direction, man. I know and I've done it. I did it already. Well, you need, to, you need to get baptized, bro, so you can have that Holy Spirit, that power inside of you, okay? All right, man? All right, man. Hey, I'm home. I, I, I'm out here, man. Freaking, I don't got a spot. I'm moving to my apartment next month, but God has me out here for some reason on these streets, man. Yeah. And, we're, and, and he has me for this purpose. For this purpose, man. I, I, I go to church, yes. I go to the Catholic Church, bro. The first, the first original authentic church, man. The church that God and the person of Jesus Christ started. I go to that church. I go to the church that was here in the first, second, third, fifth, seventh, seventh for the past 2,000 years, man. 
I go to that church. I go to the same church that converted all these pagans to Christians, to the barbarians, the vandals, the Vikings that defeated the the, the Chinese shogun, the Jap I mean the Japanese shogun, the Chinese Ming Dynasty, uh, uh, Benito Mussolini, uh, uh, you know uh, Adolf Hitler, man, uh, you know that church, man, the church that defeated every enemy of earth, man, and, and people, man. That's the church that I go to. Because it's been tried and true, man. And it survived everything, man. Every civilization that's been burnt down to the ground, the Catholic Church was right there, man. Because God had it protected. And if it takes another 20,000 years for God to come, man, Jesus Christ, for Him to come and resurrect all of us, well, guess what, man? I'm going to be right there. I'll be in the ground. <laughs> but I, I want to be resurrected, man. Because, you know, the Catholic Church is the only church that's still going to be here, man. You start a Baptist church today, brother, it's going to split in two in about ten years. You know what I mean? That's a fact. You know what I mean? Like what? Give me, give me one thing. Give me the thing that, the, the biggest thing that, that, that hurts you, bro. The second thing that hurts you, so you don't have to go there. Okay, that's that's strong right there. That's I, I know exactly what you're talking about, brother. Because those are people that you can't trust in your life, man. Those are people that you can't trust. And you know what? That's that's out here on the streets, man. That's that's I I I've, there's people, bro, that that when I was making seventy thousand dollars a year, man. Oh man, I had some really good friends, bro. When I when I became out here on the streets, bro, and just you know searching, right, evangelizing, man. They're nowhere around me, man. They don't contact me. They don't call me. They're 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 invisible, bro. They're gone. They they don't even exist anymore with me, man. But they live here, man. They don't they they I, I I'm I'm available for them. I've helped them out. I paid for their rent sometimes. I brought them food. I brought them clothes and stuff like that. But you know what? Some pe people are people, man. Some people have it and some people don't. Don't let those peoples affect you, bro, because God separates people like Weeds from seeds from uh, weeds from the grass, man. I tell you what, and that's what happens in these kind of situations. God identifies people. He separates the weed from the grass, bro. And the grass, grassy, nice green lawn is where you want to be, man. It's not gonna always be nice and grassy, but you know what? Those weeds are there's not gonna not be any weeds, and you don't want those weeds, brother. So don't take that as a hard. Don't take that as hard, bro. Take that as a blessing, man. That these things, these people get revealed to you. That 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 them not keeping your words in that is is revealed to you, and and you know who not to trust and who you can count on, who to get out of your life, bro. That's a that's God revealing people. That's those people to you, man. That's Satan revealing those people to you, bro. Okay. All right, man. I'm gonna cut this off, but you know what? Yes, you can. But hey. Hey, I, you know, I don't know where you're going to go from here or, you know, I, I may not ever see you again or whatever, man, but I want you to be, I want get baptized, okay, brother? All right, man. In Jesus' name, brother.